Sure, it's glamorous. Sure, it's a dream come true. But just like any other kind of life, you win some and you lose some when you're living the life of a K-pop artist. I've always wanted to sit down with a fellow K-pop artist and have a heart-to-heart -heart about this job and let them know, hey, I feel you. And finally, I get to do just that. Joining me in the studio for our I Feel You segment is Envy of the K-pop girl group, Black Swan. Welcome back! Oh my gosh, I swear, every week, it feels like I've been gone for a month. I know! It's so long! Right? It's so long. long. And the segment flies I know. so quickly. I know, it really does. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, I'm so happy to see you again and I love your style today, your, your look. You. Can you tell us about your look? So, um, this dress was given to me by uh, Fatu Onni. It didn't fit her, so <laughs> she said, oh, you have all the butterflies and rainbows, Nikim, so I'm going to give this to you. I was like, oh, well, I mean, thank you. Yeah, I'll wear it. It's perfect. very beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like a... Think of it like a, uh, what is it, a Victorian age style type oh. dress because you have like the corset mm -hmm. and then like this kind of thing and they have a little, it's a poofy type oh. skirt, but it's very nice. Yeah. So I'm going on my Jane Austen era right now. <laughs> I'm loving it. it. It looks perfect on Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I also told you I love this dress. It looks so comfortable. My Yeah, I'm just going for whatever's comfortable. And... <laughs> Did you cut your hair? Oh, I did! Did you just, I just notice now? Because yeah. like when I walked in, I was like, wait, Something's it looks shorter different. than usual. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, wait, no, that's definitely a new cut. It is a new cut. It looks great. Uh, it's so comfortable. Yeah, can I feel you, can you. you. Can you tie it? No, I cannot. <laughs> but when I'm at home, I just put my hairband on like this. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so Envy, I'm so glad I got to see you on Monday. Uh, on Monday, what am I saying? Mon Wednesday. Monday is a new day. <laughs> <laughs> I just created something new. Uh, I, I'm glad I got to see you on Wednesday this week because this is going to be my last YouTube live show for the next little while. And I get to do it with you. Yeah, until no! I come back. Well, well, what will be happening starting from next week then? Yes. So my plan is to come back in just a few months. And I'm happy that I get to leave, leaving you in truly good hands. My good friend and radio veteran, Alexander or Xander from UKIS. I call him uh, Alexander, but many people call him Xander of Xander. UKIS. Okay. Uh, will be taking over while I'm gone. Okay. Yeah. You, I'll still miss you, you, but I yeah. haven't met him. You haven't, haven't met, met him yet. Him, no. oh. but, but you know you kiss. Mm -hmm. I, I d when you, when like, I know Ami knows you kiss. Uh -huh. I, I don't know too much of their music, but mm. I, I will look up some of their music so I can talk about it with him. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Alexander, he's a, an amazing oppa. He has a great personality. He gets along with everybody, so you don't have to worry. Perfect. A bit, perfect. not a single bit. Yeah. I'll still miss you though, but mm -hmm. yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that it's Alexander that's um, filling in for me. And then when you have time, yeah. when you're not, you know, obviously taking care of your baby, uh -huh. and you have a little rest, then you can watch. Yeah, I can watch the show. I will watch the show. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I'll be waiting for your comments. In oh section. yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Anyway, though, do, if you have any questions about Xander. Let me know. Does he like to be called Xander? Or I don't Alexander? know about that. Do you know I don't that? know. No, I'm not sure. I think he's more used to Xander. That's but his I just stage feel, name, right? I think so. Okay. But I feel more comfortable calling him Alexander. His whole name. Alexander Xander. Alex? Xander. Does he go by? No, Alex? I don't think he goes by Alex. Alex. No. Okay, no. Okay. 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 Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyways, he has great energy. Uh, super E. Mm. MBTI. Super e. <laughs> I mean, I don't know his MBTI, but I'm pretty You're guessing sure. He's yeah, super e. yeah, I'm sure he is. And um, he really wants to get married, so maybe that's something they that can talk about. That's, that's relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk too much about relationships. I know day, yeah. <laughs> but it'll be interesting. I can ask him questions about oh. who he wants. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That would um, be a great start right now. Of the I don't have like I don't have like a whole type right now. I'm just mm. my type right now is my career, <laughs> and yeah. so that's it. But it'll be interesting to see what his type is since he's ready to uh -huh. obviously tie the knot, get married. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's the biggest um, thing in his in his mind right now. Marriage and having a family. I mean, it come. There's gonna come an age when everybody mm -hmm. feels that way, whether they're young or you know they get, they're young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever Someday. the age is. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So I mean, he's a such a fun personality. What was their? Do you have a recommendation for their song that I should listen to? Man Man Honey. Man Man that's, Honey. I believe that's the most popular song, and it's my favorite song from the team. Uh, you have to listen to it. Yeah, I've it's a really catchy song. That's Alexander, by the way. Like We're watching. I've seen him before. Uh, yeah, Probably We're looking I, at his I pictures. Have, I know I haven't seen him in person, but uh -huh. I feel like I've seen him. He has such good vibes, bright energy. So when he I was doing like Huai Tong, yeah, when I uh, used to do Huai Tong, mm. and Yukis was doing their Huai Tong, I uh, just. Mm, it was not easy to make friends, but with Alexander, it was so easy with him. He was so friendly. Just, yeah. Like FX, uh, Amber of FX and uh. um, Alexander of Yukis. They were the Very ones. Fun people the to fun be people, around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like fun, like easy people. Like, yeah, you don't have so to down to earth. Worry or try with them. It's just. Not at all. They're just. Okay, well, I'm excited so to So down meet to him. earth. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna. He love seems him. like a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. Just like from the. Obviously, from the pictures, and mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, you, you ever just? I don't. I don't like to obviously assume things because you never know. But when I sometimes when I look at people's like pictures or like first videos, yeah. my first impression. You have a first impression, and I think when I saw him, he looks very fun, very <laughs> energetic, very down to earth. Uh huh. That's exactly what he is. Uh -huh. Okay. He doesn't then, hide oh, anything. Then, then this, this will be him. fun then. This will yeah. be fun. And I'm sure our listeners um, are going to love him too. And they're going to have to get used to his energy though. His vibe. Because it's so different from me. What's okay. He's so much more hyper and up. You really? Yeah. You're yeah, hyper, hyper sometimes when you have the energy. Oh, but I don't think I can compare with him. Because I think... Yeah. We're mostly, <laughs> uh -huh. we're, more, wise, we're mostly the same. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we're both eyes. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes do you ever do people ever tell you, "Oh, I thought you were an E at first when I like first met you." Rarely, rarely, rarely yeah. really. Yeah, people don't really. Yeah, I thought you were an E when I first really? met you. Actually, really? oh, like a very mm. like. Some people, when they think of E's, like obviously they're very open, like energetic and just out there. But there's also like people who are E's who are, are outgoing, mm -hmm. but also like re like reserved. Oh, not le not like too out there. Uh huh. But I'm a complete I if you um, yeah. learn more about me. But when I'm working, I try to. It's like that. No, it's the same for yeah, me. Yeah, I try when to I work, lift up my that's energy, why some to put people, up my energy. Some people, when they that's why they first, think we're yeah, E, like, right? Oh, I thought you were an E when I first. No. I was like, mm, no, mm -hmm. no. And then when just, you get to know yeah. the person, you know, yeah, oh yeah, yeah you're exact. Oh yeah, no, you are an I. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was on here before. He was, was on the show. Yeah, yeah, he was on the show. When was this? I don't remember. Uh, not not too long ago, right? This was when I had. August. This was in oh, August. This was recently. Oh. Yeah, because my hair was like a lighter blonde. So that was, I think, before, either it was before or during promotions. Wow, I was still very slim back then in August. And now I almost, gained, I almost gained 20 kilos. But you're pregnant. You still look great either way. But you know what? My baby's only two kilos. Just tell me about that. You're still <laughs> what pregnant. is the other way? You're still pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Trust I'm me, not going to stress too much about it. You didn't gain as much weight as you think. You I you are just so. pregnant. But my doctor did tell me to stop eating too much carbs. Well, that's <laughs> like, hard. Bang, the breads. But once you start eating oh. bread mm -hmm. and you've been off it for like a yeah. while and then you get used to it, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this is going to be hard to stop. Yeah. Just change your bread to something a different bread like wheat, like wheat bread hmm. or something a more healthier bread <laughs> that's what helps me if i still want to eat mm. bang. <laughs> maybe I and I'm, I'm having bread for dinner today because i'm having indian cuisine so I, of oh, course yes. i'm having none 
So oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Well, at least none is, I think, still way healthier than bread. Really? But I'm planning mm. to get butter garlic. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, is it? Okay. You know what? You're you're pregnant? Yeah, it's cheat day for me every day. Yes. Yeah. So you eat what you want. <laughs> Thank Don't you. Worry. Uh, I feel so... Um, oh, ooh, what's the sound? Oh, I, I feel really good. All right. So, um, how was your week? My week is good. You know, same old, same old. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Practice. Practice. Sing. Practice. Dance. Yeah. Go to sleep. Eat. That's the life of a <laughs> K-pop uh, idol when you're not promoting, but when you're not doing promotion. I think lately I've had more rest time, which I love and hate at the same time because... Nowadays, ever since I've gotten into this field, I feel if I don't, if I, if I rest, I feel very unproductive. Mm. And <clears throat> so I want to be doing something every day. I want to have like a schedule. I want to be like practice. Yes. But like the same old routine with like practice every day is great. But I need something different. Yeah. You know, I want something. I want to do more schedules, more performances. Mm -hmm. So every time I feel, I go home and I start watching TV mm -hmm. and eating, <laughs> I feel so unproductive. I know what you mean, yeah. Me. Yes. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yeah. Hopefully soon we'll get something different. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Uh, all right. So are you ready for our mini Korean lesson? I'm always ready. Let's okay. go. Well, we're going to take a quick song break. And when we come back, we'll talk about some useful Korean expressions. So the song we're going to listen to is Love, Money, Fame by Seventeen featuring DJ Khaled. Nice. We just heard Love, Money, Fame by Seventeen featuring DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. <laughs> All right, taking a look at a few comments. Matahari says, loving Princess Envy's look. She reminds me of a Disney princess. I'm thinking Rapunzel in the ending scene when she cut her hair. Envy, thank you for your entertaining short videos. You really have a fun and surprising way of doing them. <laughs> Luminous really appreciate them. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. There is, a, like I, I said, there is just one day on, I think, Sunday or Tuesday. Sunday or Monday. I had filmed the challenge that I told you about, 21 Somenium's challenge with the iconic hairstyle. So I was like, mm, let me just do this and shoot it. And it's on my reels. And, um, you know, I asked the company if I could post this. They mm -hmm. said yes. Yes, this one. Oh. Why? But it's hair? the fact that this, it stayed up <laughs> the whole time. The whole time it stayed up. Wow. And I was like, no hairspray, no gel, no nothing. Did I just, you do your own hair? I did that, yeah. <gasps> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm not on social, because I was off, like, I hadn't been posting a lot, like, pictures or, um, like, videos in a while. So sometimes, if that happens, I just like to do something random mm. and funny to start it <laughs> off again. And then I'll start posting pictures again oh yeah it is very entertaining so i'm glad you guys like it yeah <laughs> i think it's my thing now uh -huh. i'm very random but yeah so suddenly you happens. just thought uh you just came up with the idea all yeah. of a sudden mm. yeah all right like i said i'm random that's nice <laughs> mm. okay and benjamin vera cruz says so sad to hear it's your last broadcast for now oh, lim but hoping for healthy and safe delivery for you and your baby. God bless. Thank you. And I'm feeling a bit sentimental today since it's this pair's last broadcast together for the time being. Mm. Yeah. Hope all goes well for both of you. Thank Do not you. worry. She will be back. I'll be back. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully soon. Are you excited? Uh, excited and nervous at the of same course. time. Yeah, both. I have mixed emotions. When you had your first kid, did you um, have any? Um, what was the your favorite age that they had when they were like newborn or like oh, going not into newborns. not newborn? Because that's a lot of work. I, that's a lot I, of I know. work. And I, <laughs> I, it's my first time being a mom. I don't have any nephews. It was, 
He was the first baby I actually held. Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, I like babies, but I don't know how to, what to do with them. Like, so you had to <laughs> learn everything on your own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so okay. I was always so careful that everything was so scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that was when I first held my first nephew, I felt the same. But I have like seven. And now the new one should be delivered either today or tomorrow. So it's the new the, the girl. newest the newest oh, the girl wow. my oldest brothers wow today or tomorrow wow yeah <gasps> so I'm I'm excited lots of babies <laughs> wait how many babies again right now I I think this will be number eight wow number eight oh my god yeah I amazing have, amazing you have a big family let's see her 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 this will I have four nieces now oh wonderful. Yes, yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Tepe Warren says, hello, Envy. Hello. And safe delivery, DJ Hedim. Thank you, Tepe Warren. And Fabi Lumina says, hi, girls. Hello. Hi. Johnny says, keep being random for the fandom. <laughs> oh, that, that should rhymes. should be a t-shirt. Keep being random for the fan. I love it. I think that needs to be like my own t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I should make that. Yeah. Thank you for the inspiration. Mm -hmm. VY says, hi, NV. Did you and the Swannies do anything for Halloween? Um, no. Hmm. No, we didn't. We were supposed to have a Halloween party at Oni's house, but um, uh, she had to reschedule for another time, so we ended up not doing anything, which is fine. I don't really do anything for Halloween anyway. Mm -hmm. Me too. I, I just skipped this Halloween. Yeah. Because that means I have to put on, like, either scary makeup or get a costume ready. And I'm very lazy. So I'm like, when she said, okay. oh, yeah, it, it's a costume party, so come dress. I was like, <laughs> do I have to? Like, yeah. can I just show up as me? I was like, no, no. That's the, you just taking the fun out of it. I was like, okay. Aww. But maybe next year. Maybe. <laughs> And Estelle Sabrina Co says, Oh, hi, Envy. It's very flamenco. I don't know what flamenco is. Colorful. But I like it. I think so. yeah. <laughs> flamenco. I feel like flamenco. it's co colorful, right? Oh, it's a, oh. I guess it's a, a style, the style. Okay, yeah, I can see. Oh, it's the style of dress. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like a perform, performance uh, stage outfit. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, no, no. I see what they mean, yeah. especially the top-wise. Yes. Thank right. you. Thank you. Uh, Emmy mm. says, Oh my God, you guys look gorgeous. I hope everything goes well for you, Hedim. Thank you. King Lindo TV says, Envy, you look so beautiful. I love your outfit. Stop Girl is a good song by You Kiss. Okay. All right. Thank you for the recommendation. Wow. Mm -hmm. Navy Dog 5184VX says, I remember Xander from a Good Vibes live stream. He's definitely. A great choice as a substitute. Envy and Alexander are going to make for some interesting episodes. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm excited. Uh -huh. yeah, he definitely had, um, has good vibes. Okay. Yeah. And he was on the segment, Good Vibes. So, and perfect. And he'll, he'll be DJing it for a little bit. That's right. All right. And now for today's mini Korean lesson, we're going to take a look at an expression I want you to say to me when I come back in a few months. Okay. And it's also the song, uh, the title of the song that we're going to be listening to. And the song is, I'm sure you know this song, right? It's Tashi Manda Sa Pangawa by Wonwi. I think I have heard it. The, the title sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. I think once I hear the song. Yeah, I think you'll know it because you know all of the So <laughs> you're, you're a fan. Of yeah, the yeah, song. yeah. For some reason, the official English title of the song is Pleasant, but... In Korean, Tashi Manna Sopangowo, if we uh, look at it uh, word by word, Tashi means again, again. Mannada, to meet, Pangapta, to be happy. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. So, Manna Sopangowo would it's mean. Nice to meet you. That's right, right, nice to meet you. And Tashi Manna Sopangowo. It's happy to see you again. again. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Tashi Manna Sopangowo. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to keep that in my brain, so when you come back, that'll be the first thing I say to you. Yes. It's nice to meet you. Uh, good to see you again. That's right. Yeah. So, yes. Um, I'll be looking forward to that. I'm going to keep it <laughs> yeah, in here every day. Don't forget. 
Right. And the next up is onjenga. Have you heard 언젠, of this expression? I know on I know onje is when. That's right. So like is mm. it when? Onje is when. Onjenga it means someday or one day. Ah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Onjenga. I never I didn't I mean I'm sure that Korean had that. I just mm. this is the first time hearing it. Onjenga. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this could be in the future or in the past. Okay. For example, 언젠가 다시 만나면 would mean when we meet again someday in the future. Mm-hmm. Or another example would be 언젠가 들은 이야기, a story I heard one day in the past. Ah. 언젠가 들었는데, or 언젠가 부자가 될 거야, I'm going to be rich someday. So it means someday, okay. one day. Mm-hmm. So speaking of someday or 언젠가, what are some of your goals without an end date? So how would you finish the line, 언젠가 나는, someday I will, something, something. Ah, uh, 언젠가 나는 뉴질랜드에서 살 거예요. I oh. will live, one day I will live in New Zealand. Because I want to get a vacation house or retire there. Oh, uh-huh. but why, why New Zealand? The landscape is beautiful. I heard. It's just... I mean, it just seems very a very peaceful, happy, relaxing place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I can just walk out my window and see a beautiful mountains. Oh, that looks beautiful. I would love to visit I think visit I, New I really someday. mostly like it for the landscape. It's just very beautiful. Mm-hmm. It is really beautiful, full of nature, right? Mm. Mm. If you ask me, I would say, 언젠가 나는, someday I will. Uh, leave my children to my husband with my husband and just go on vacation go yeah and just take a break uh just go on a vacation by myself oh do you like mm-hmm. traveling on your own no but i would <laughs> like to try that <laughs> you want to try okay uh, okay okay in my bucket list because i i'm the i love traveling by myself you do yeah oh, i don't I, mind I don't, like actually. traveling with family mm-hmm. or friends but Traveling by myself is mm-hmm. is just more, I don't know, peaceful. I I can think. Mm. Yeah, some people loves to travel alone. I'm I'm not that kind of person, but onzenga, I would like to try someday. it someday. One day, one day. <laughs> yeah. Right, and the next expression is papan ban mokja. Have you heard of this expression, papan ban mokja? I know pap is a meal, mm-hmm. and mokja is to eat. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, to eat, to eat dinner. Pap, 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 Wait, because hanbon is like one more time. Right? Once, yeah, one time. Uh. Mokta, to eat. Ah. Uh, so. It would mean, let's grab a bite to eat someday. Let's eat together someday. Okay. Pap, pap, mokja. So it basically means, let's hang out someday. Or, hey, we should hang out. Or, we should really keep in touch. Mm. And, um... People say this a lot in Korea, papangbomokja, like a greeting. Like uh, they don't really mean, let's actually li- eat. Unless they actually plan uh-huh. it. Unless yeah. you set a date. And if you really want to eat, then you have to set a date right right away. Yeah. Or else it's just it's, gonna be a passing phrase. We do the same yeah? in, in the US. We'll just be like, yeah, yeah, we should totally hang out when oh. we're both free. Let's, let's hang catch out. up let's, soon. Yeah. And never. No, no, never happens. <laughs> exactly. Unless I was like, are you actually free like in two weeks on this uh-huh. day? It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, actually, let's do it. And sometimes I'm thinking back because mm-hmm. sometimes I'll ask, I was like, oh, are you actually free? Because I would actually like to hang out with you. And then sometimes when I get asked, I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let me look at my schedule and I'll see. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's funny. So that's the same thing. So you get the okay. m- message. I get the vibe. You're, yeah, right on point. It's the. Uh, same thing, like, let's hang out someday, we should catch up, and you never... <laughs> it's, it's the phrase, we should. Uh, but... Da-da-da. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's not set. That's the same thing. Papamba mokja would be okay. that Pa-pam-ba-mokja. kind of phrase in Korean. Mm-hmm. Now that I hear it, I think yeah. I have heard it once. Yes. And last but not least, we have your luck or your luck kada. I do not know mm. what this one means. Mm. Yollak basically refers to any and all forms of long distance contact or communication, including phone calls, text messages, messenger apps, social media, even snail mails, 
any kind of contact, yollak, to contact. So yollakada means to contact, to call or to text, mm. to reach out. Okay. Or uh, you can say like, oh, just one time yollak e, call me sometime. Which and it never, never happens. Yollak, <laughs> <laughs> yollakada. Mm. So if this is like to like long distance or like contact. Contacting someone, how Contacting. would it be? Mm-hmm. Let's say someone has a long distance relationship. What would you guys call it? Ingrid? Long distance relationship, a uh, 장거리 연애. 장거리. 장거리 long distance 연애. Relationship 연애. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> 자주 연락해. Let's keep in touch often. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we use uh, the word 연락 a lot, many many times. For example. Yollakaja, let's keep in touch. <laughs> Never happened. Or five months later, how are you doing? Uh, I'm keeping uh, in touch. Papa, papa, mokja. Never meet again. <laughs> yeah. Or onze dinji yollakhe. You can call me anytime. Onze mm-hmm. dinji, I'm here for you. Yollakhe yo. Omanti yollak jum chajue. Call your mom more often. Chibe to chakam yollakhe. I'll call you or text you when I get home. Mm. Oof. You know, when it says that, uh, um, call, it, call your mom more often, it's actually the other way around. I want my mom to call me more often. Really? She oh. barely calls me. Uh-huh. I'm all, I always have to call, it's like, hey, <laughs> haven't heard you in about a week. <laughs> it's like, well, I've been busy. Well, you don't love me anymore. You don't want to call me? <laughs> As a joke. But like, <laughs> it's the other way around. But yeah, uh-huh. that's funny to hear that. <laughs> call your mom more often. Uh-huh. That's, yeah. <laughs> and um, when you're, uh, for example, you're, you finish having a appointment or mm-hmm. something, and then your friend or the person sends you off by a taxi, and yes. you say, "I'll see you later. Come here, lucky. Yeah, I'll call right, me right, right. when you get home." I always forget. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> so your luck. Mm-hmm. So do you, uh, you're lucky with your friends back home? Oh, all the time. All the time. Like, I'm... They know that I'm busy and I know that they're also busy. Like, we both have lives. Mm -hmm. So, we talk whenever we either, you know, feel lonely, just want to talk, or we just remember each other. And I love how, like, some friendships are like that because I feel like those are really the, the true best friends. Yeah. Like, you can talk even if you haven't talked in... Years or months, exactly, and yeah. you're still like really good friends. Like everything is still interesting, even if you're talking about the same thing all the time. Yeah, it, and it doesn't feel awkward, mm. or it like it, it's been a long time. It's like, oh, how have you been? <laughs> and like, there's always something to say. So I love. I always talk to my friends whenever we have the time. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And what's your favorite way method of your luck? Um, could be personally, a phone call, I like mm. calling people more just because I'm Dude. pretty lazy. <laughs> when it's texting, I'm like, oh, I have to use my fingers, and I'm just lazy in that way. But sometimes I do like to text more, especially when it comes to, like, more, like, serious things, and I need to get my emotions out, but, you know, I also have to think. Sometimes when you call, and you're really emotional, you mm. just say things. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. I, I don't want to just say things. I need to think, oh, and then I read, I'm like, oh, let's delete that. Mm-hmm. Do it this way. Mm. So it's not, it's a, it's a, depends on the situation. Depends. But I like to call my friends and family more. I see. For me, it's definitely a uh, text message. It's easier for you. I don't like to call on the phone. Okay. Yeah. I won't call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you. <laughs> I only like to talk on the phone with my husband. The well, yeah. only one. And of course. Not even your other family. Other than that, I prefer text message. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's much more comfortable and convenient. Oh, of yeah. course. The K app. The K, yep. Uh-huh. Yes, the K yeah. app. All right. So let's play the song and see if we can catch these expressions. Here is Tashi Bandas Pang. That was One We and their song, Tashi Bandasa Pangawa, Pleasant. So, did you get to uh, catch the expressions? In the chorus. In the chorus. Mm. Ta- I really only because I heard the title. Tashi Bandasa Pangawa. Mm-hmm. I love the guitar 
the solo guitar part mm. towards the end. That was really cool. Yeah, no, they're, they're a good band. I like their music. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some comments. Sneha. 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 S-N-E-H. <laughs> the curls are curling girl. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully when you, you said you want to do a perm eventually or something. Uh, on, maybe someday. On Zenga. On Zenga. <laughs> on Zenga. Yeah, someday in the future, maybe. I think uh, you'd look good with like waves or, or waves? curls. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to, I want to dye my hair first. What color? Uh, I don't know. Dark brown. Dark maybe. brown? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like th this bright. one or this color a little bit darker? Darker, darker. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like my I like roots. darker colors. Because uh, my, yeah. my, my natural hair color is dark brown. Dark brown? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Fabi Lumina says, traveling by yourself is more fun and freedom. It is. It's mm. just scary when you have to talk to people. And if you I'm don't speak I, the language. Yeah, it's, it's really scary for me. But I still do it. Oh. Or I'll just figure it out on my own. I tend to just figure it out on my own. Mm. And then when it gets serious, then I'll ask someone. Yeah. It's fun. When, uh, what was the most memorable trip that, I did? that you did by yourself? Um, I haven't done like world trips yet. I mean, there was one time that I went to Amsterdam with my mom, but since she was working, um, she, we were there for like two weeks and she was working the whole time. So I just went along as a vacation. So I would go out by myself. And oh, so I think Amsterdam will probably be my favorite. Amsterdam, oh, I, also, I really want to go. It's, it's Did you get to go to the museums? I went to like the, the Anne Frank, uh, Anne Frank I think Museum. It's always, always sold out when I was there. Mm. But I did get to go to the Vincent van Gogh Museum. <gasps> You did? Oh yeah. my gosh, that's on my bucket list. The Anne Frank's Museum and the Van Gogh mm, Museum. Next time I go to Amsterdam, which I I will be going to Amsterdam on a vacation. Onzenga! <laughs> Onzenganen, that's on my bucket list too. Onzenganen, yes. Um, I want to go back, but I would like take a rent a bike and just ride the bike on the, ca the canal and just tour. Mm -hmm. It's Because it's a small city, but it's really it's beautiful. It's right? so beautiful. I also want to uh, check out the flower market there. There's a, uh, I didn't get to go to this, but they have a whole lily field of mm -hmm. like, it's like the, all the different colors of lilies. Yeah. I wanted to I go, mm. but um, I had to travel a ways and I was like 19 at the time. So I wasn't comfortable traveling like out too far outside, mm. even though it's not that far, but I didn't know the city. So I'm going to go back. Go oh, thank God. Oh. oh, your mic. MV's mic just came off. And go there. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and go there. But mm -hmm. it's so beautiful. I think Amsterdam and I've only seen Japan. pictures. Oh. I got to go to Osaka two years ago. By yourself? No, I went with uh, my manager. But oh. um, <laughs> it was For work. still really good. Mm. Still really good. Oh, that sounds lovely. I would like to go anywhere on a vacation. Sounds really nice. On yeah. Zengunen. Yes. Hopefully soon. Matahari says, Mrs. Hedin, take a Caribbean cruise. You Lots of fun in the sun. You would oh. love a cruise. Yeah, I would love that. Sounds really? Lovely. I've I've been on like a couple of cruises in my lifetime. And I've loved it. It's, cruising isn't my favorite anymore because I have, so for some reason, I've gotten a recent fear of the ocean. So I don't like being on ships anymore. But... I've been on a cruise once. It's 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 relaxing. Yeah, it's with, not scary. As a family trip. Mm. It was fun. Yeah. It's really fun. Mm. And Tay Pei Wern says, be careful of pickpockets in Amsterdam. Really? Mm. And I didn't know. I, I had a really safe, fun time in Amsterdam. Actually, like, the people there are very nice. But, oh. I mean, you never know. But, yeah. How was the food? The food, yeah. I will say... The food was very, very healthy and really? fresh. Oh. I think I, um, when I ate their fruits and vegetables out there, it was probably the freshest and realest fruits and vegetables I have ever eaten in my life. Wow. Really good. That says a lot. They have a lot of health, like, you know, like, subs, sandwiches, oh. fruits, veggies, pasta. Like, it's really healthy out now there. Now I really want to go. 
Oh, and TP Ren also says French fries in Amsterdam is delicious. Really? That's my I guilty pleasure. I actually didn't get to try. I love French fries. Also, go see the tulips there. I know. I want to go. It was, sorry. It wasn't Lily's. It was tulips. Ah, my bad. Yeah, the my tulip. Bad. Yeah, they have a tulip garden. The tulip fields. Garden. Yeah. Ah, I did a presentation about that. Um, in school? In university. <gasps> like it's the really vacation that I want to go to. And I talked about a Amsterdam and of course I talked about the tulips. And it was pretty, like the pricing out there is very reasonable. Mm. Like the tickets for like museums or just to rent a bike is very reasonable prices. That's nice. So it was very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on den gunnen. Let's go. Right. DJ Harim should visit Malaysia too. Food is awesome and Malaysians can speak many languages. We even have a Korean town. I would ah. love to visit Malaysia. I I've been to Malaysia many times before. Uh, as Did a, you have it? With uh, the Wonder Girls. How was that? Was it good? We loved it. We love Malaysia all the time. But I remember it, it was always very hot. The weather was right. hot and the food was always amazing. We love... You love to. Uh, I need some food. Malaysian food. I've never tried Malaysian food yet. Yeah, we had some big concerts in Malaysia before, but I've never been to the K Town in Malaysia. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I think you would like Malaysia too. Hopefully, someday Black Swan can go and perform there. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> On Zengkan. Uh, right. Exactly. VY says, I hope you ladies have a nice rest of your week and I'm glad I got to tune in for this week's segment. I'm glad you could see it. Yeah. Glad to have you on the show today. Thank you. All right. And if you're just tuning in right now, we're joined by Envy of Black Swan to talk about the K-pop artist life on I Feel You. And I think today would be a great day to talk about Gongbaekgi or Hyushiki. And we often use the word pisugi, and it doesn't quite mean a hiatus, but it's the downtime between albums or between promotions. Mm. Do you know if there's an English expression for this? Just a, a break. A break? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I it's thought. It's like hiatus or a break. Like a hi when we say more hiatus, oh, they're going to be gone for like a while mm. because of like this and this. But usually, let's say we finish our promotions and it's that time between until the next album, it's more... Taking a break? Uh, I guess we can say it like a break time, but we it's more like we describe it. So we would just say, oh, they're just getting ready for their next, next album. They're, yeah. Or they're, oh, they're making their next album or they're in the makings of the next album mm -hmm. so we don't really say oh they're in a break time there we just normally just describe oh well they'll just be taking a break mm -hmm. to get ready for their next album uh, we don't have a specific word for it there's no specific word it's like more of like a description oh, of what they're doing not like hushiki mm. like unless like Huga, like you have like holidays. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we take that as either, oh, I'm going to take a break or I'm going to take a holiday. Because mm. we, ha we have holiday breaks or, you know, right. that stuff. But or like, like maternity comes, leave. Maternity <laughs> leave, paternity leave, all of that stuff. We have those. But when it comes to like artists and getting ready for the next album, it's just like, oh, they're getting ready for the next album. Mm, yeah, it's not really like a break. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels like we're much busier during this so-called downtime or break time because we're usually so preparing, so busy preparing for the next album. There's so much to prepare for, right? Yeah. Well, what are some of the extras you, you are currently doing? Oh, well, you know, right now, uh, just upping my... Right now, when it comes like to breaks, when I'm not promoting, I tend to try and up my skills on what needs improvement. Mm -hmm. So other than the facts like, you know, the obvious stuff like learning new music or getting dances together or getting all that stuff, that's like the normal stuff that everybody already knows. But mm -hmm. like the main thing is always learning new things right. or upping a skill that is already there. Like mm -hmm. live singing. Mm. I think I will always in my life, every day, be working on my live vocals. But yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you? Uh, well, 
preparing for it. I'm like, come back. Hmm. <laughs> when you were when you were in the Wonder Girls, what yeah, when was, I was your? In the Wonder... Yeah, people would think that when you're not doing huerto, you're just resting at right. home or you know doing nothing during uh, hu shiki or kumbeki or pisugi. Yeah. But I feel like the pisugi is the real songsugi, <laughs> the busy mm, time. Because exactly. when we're on stage, yeah, we're um, showing it to people, but to be on stage, you really need to prepare. It's like months. It's so much more, so much more busier, yeah. right? Like obviously, so many to prepare exactly. for, starting from the concept, concept way, like so many meetings to do, recording sessions, uh, dance practice, yeah, vocal right, right. practice, language. Mm. Uh, pra you have to practice your language skills. What other um, workouts, yeah. diet? Yeah. So many, so many things I to think work on. Usually, when it comes to like that area, obviously I work out more because I work out less when I'm on promotion because I don't have time. Yeah. And so I usually end up gaining weight, and where I try and to continue the diet during promotions, but there's so much I want to be able to be free with what I eat. Mm -hmm. So I end up gaining weight. So then I had to go back when I finish and go back to the gym and do my diet and hold the diet for a while yeah. until then. But mostly, yeah, that, I think that's the most busiest time, mm -hmm. depending on yeah. like your company, of course. But mm -hmm. like, yeah. I absolutely agree. Uh, when you're not doing Hwaltong and preparing for the next album, that's the busiest period, I would mm. say. Because when you perform it, that's like after... That's the fun part, mm. performing. That's after the practicing, exactly. uh, either mm. months or weeks mm -hmm. of practice. And they say practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. So that practice period, people, people don't see it, but that's the hard part, right? It's the hardest. And the busy part. Yeah. Mm, the busiest time. Yeah. Takes me back to my old days. <laughs> Mm. And I also had to do band practice, so that was tough. Really? Yeah, because we had Which I'm, some band concert. I, I was the guitarist. Right, right. I remember seeing the pictures. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> guitarist. Oh my yeah. gosh. You still mm. remember how to play? No, unfortunately. I forgot. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. You should, I was about to say, you should teach me. I have a. I, I need have to start learning guitar. it. I want to start learning. I want to learn Onzenganen. I want to learn. Acoustic guitar yeah. from the beginning, from scratch. Because mm. right now I'm learning that, but I'm getting back to my skills on piano, so I'm learning more about piano right now. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun though. Yeah. Oh, you're learning piano? Well, I already knew how to play piano, oh. but I'm relearning my skills because it's been years since I have actually like done scales or done mm. music, so I'm relearning it right now. Mm-hmm. All right. I want to learn more about producing more music, so mm -hmm. we're going to do it, do it that way. Because you ever get mm -hmm. that time where, like, oh, I have all these, like, emotions and I want to put it in a song. Mm. But I don't know how to play. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I'm learning, like, keys, scales, and getting it jam-packed and tight so that way it's just a natural thing. That way when I do mm -hmm. have that time, I could just be like play around and like, oh, I like this key. Mm -hmm. mm, let's add a melody here. Mm, now we can add some lyrics and then get someone, oh, what do you think about this? Can you add a beat to it? Yeah. This kind of stuff. I want to do that. Yeah. Especially if you're going to continue music. Uh, pursuing, me yeah. Yeah, pursuing music. Then an instrument, learning at least one instrument yeah. is, I feel like, a must. Mm. Yeah. All right, and for our next song break, let's listen to Bad Luck by Jamie, followed by Moon Chow. That was Twistia by Moon Chong Up, and before that, we heard Bad Luck by Jamie. And it's already time to say goodbye. No! <laughs> no, this can't! This cannot be! I'm excited so to meet to... Xander, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but this this mm. isn't gonna be your last YouTube live. But you're gonna be on for the rest of your week, still, right? That's right. We still have two more shows this week, okay. so don't forget to tune into those, everyone. But most importantly, 
And we thank you for being my last YouTube live. Uh, thank you for being on my last YouTube live of the year with me today. Oh I know, the year, last you. guest. Oh. I'll have to, when we say goodbye to each other this week, I'll have to say I'll see you next year. Next year, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. But that's only in like two months away. That's so fun. It's going to feel know. like two years. Mm -hmm. 20, 25 feels like future. It a, really does, though. A long because I meeting. you ever watch movies when you were younger? Yeah. And then they talk about future and like twenty twenty or twenty twenty five. Yeah. Would come and they're like, we're and living it in, right now. <laughs> yeah, that's in two months. Well, yes. Um, thank you so much, and take care until then. And we will. Your luck, Kaza. You too. <laughs> your luck, Kaza. Papa, have right? Bye. Seriously, you call me if you need a babysitter. Oh, and I call you every day? Can I call you every day? I know you don't like calling, but you can text me every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to uh, say goodbye for a while with Envy, but yes, um, Xander will be here next Monday with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, bye and bye. thank you. Now we're going to say goodbye to Envy with Tomorrow by Together and their song, 내일에서 기다릴게. I'll see you there 